Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to another tutorial about animation. But first of all, please forgive me for my audio. My microphone decided to not work anymore, so I'm using my headset. So as you can imagine, the quality is not going to be the same as it was for my fancy microphone. But uh, I'll get my microphone. Got to get a new one. So please forgive me. Um, I hope you can still get something out of this tutorial. So I wanted to show you really fast how to animate a character. Now, you, ha you can have a rig and you can actually animate it yourself, but sometimes you need something really fast and you need a prototype. So I'm going to show you how it's done. Uh, we are going to be using two things. We're clearly going to be using a 3D model, but we're also going to be using Mixamo. Um, so make sure that you can log in. Now, it is Mixamo is done by Adobe, so it's owned by Adobe. So if you have a login for Adobe, then you will be able to use Mixamo for free. You can also, looks like you can sign up for free. But uh, I haven't tried that. I actually have an Adobe account, so I'll just use that. So the first thing we need to do is actually export our character. This can be any 3D model. Just make sure that she, she or he or it or whatever is uh, in a T-pose or in an A-pose, something that's really easy to uh, manage. So let's grab everything. We're going to combine, mesh, combine, delete the history so it's all nice one piece, file, Export selection. Let's go to the options. Um, you can choose FBX. I'm going to choose OBJ. So OBJ export. Uh, you can turn all these off if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Export. And uh, just make sure you're going to find it somewhere easy. So for example, I'm going to usually I create a OBJ folder in my scenes file because I like to keep things separate. And this is going to be my calico underscore OBJ. So over here, you can see your results. It says that it's exported it, and I'm ready to go into Mixamo. All right, let me go ahead and log in. All right, so the cool thing about Mixamo is it's split by characters, and we also have animations. And it's basically motion capture data that you can actually grab and then assign it to a character. So for example, if I want to grab this interesting samba dancing, you can see that this character actually just goes ahead and does it. Now what's fun about this is that I can go to characters and I grab somebody else and I can actually use this character and then she does her the dance as well. So you can do stylized, you can use regular characters, you can, oh, that's funny, it's got a heel there. Um, did you know that stilettos are considered weapons? <laughs> you can actually kill somebody with stilettos, so I think it's funny that it's like that. Anyway, random fact. Or you can even go really stylized like with this little mouse guy here. You're not limited to photorealistic uh, characters. You can actually create any type of um, character and use this data. All right, so the way it's going to work is that we are actually going to go into um, our animation and let's go ahead and upload our character. So I'm going to grab this character, select the file, let's go to that OBJ, and you're going to notice that it looks like there's two of them. One's called an MTL, and another one's the OBJ. You want to grab the OBJ, click open and let it upload. So it processes the file slash the character. Uh, this only works with biped by the way. Alright so this looks like it's looking good so let's go ahead and go to next and we're gonna move this to the chin so let's go ahead and put her there then we're gonna put her wrist. It did state at the beginning that it would have been better if this was a T pose but let's see what happens in an A pose. Let's go ahead and put this on our elbows. So again, hopefully you know where your elbows are. Let's go ahead and put the knees on. And then finally the groin, which is around here-ish. All right, let's see what we get. Over here you can ask for a standard skeleton, which has 65 joints. There are different types. You can do a three figure chain, uh, no fingers, things like that. I'm just gonna use a standard. And let's go ahead and do next. It's going to calculate it and it's going to take a couple of minutes. It's kind of neat because you get to see a round turntable of your character, so that's always fun. I'm not sure why her hair turned out like that, but... Alright, so there she is. My character is now rigged. It's got a basic animation. She's looking around kind of, I guess, nervously. And then I can click next. Okay, next. And there she is, doing the samba dance. <laughs> it's kind of cute. So what's neat about this is that I can increase the energy if I wanted to. I can decrease her energy, so I guess it's not so dramatic. And it's a lot of bunch of other stuff you can do. 
So what's fun about this is that there's a huge library of things. Now, if you're trying to create some sort of prototype game or anything like that, this is actually a really good way of creating, like, defeat, for example. Darn it. Gosh darn it. Life is hard. You can also do... Uh, oh, let's do belly dancing. Let's see how this character looks like while she belly dances. And it's a little creepy. So you can see that there's male characters and female characters. So that actually does apply. Like women just move a little bit different than men and vice versa. So um, so just keep that in mind that it might be a good idea to uh, keep that in mind. So let's grab a rifle. Let's say if my character is ready to grab a rifle. So you can see that she's grabbing a rifle. Here's a hit reaction. Oh, been hit by something. Not sure what. Here's another hit reaction. Whoa. Uh, ooh, let's do a grenade throw. Oh yes, Calico is gr throwing grenades. Now this actually worked really well. Sometimes there's pulling from other joints and things like that. So keep that in mind that it's not perfect. But, uh, ooh, let's just watch your punch. Wow, that's pretty neat. Oops, I triggered something there. Oh, we can watch her die, I guess. Oh, the humanity. No. Oh, that was... I like how somebody is dying, but you can see that they put their hands down because <laughs> it's clearly an actor not wanting to slam their head into the ground. Anyway, you can ha you can spend like a ton of time just messing around with this and just kind of taking a look at all of its fun things that it has to offer. So definitely check it out. Give it a shot. It's really, really fun. Um, but let's see if I can find something that I might want to use for my female character. So let's take a look. There's golfing, which is interesting. There's crying. I don't know if I want that. Let's see what excited looks like. I'm excited. There you go. That's kind of cute. Does that kind of fit the character a little bit? She looks like she needs to go to the restroom. Maybe I'll do something else. Um, it's funny that she looks excited, but not really because her face doesn't say anything. So those are the type of things you have to consider is that uh, the face reaction, her fingers probably need to be fixed. You know, there's a lot of things you need to do beforehand. All right, let's go ahead and do look around. Look around looks kind of kind of neutral. I kind of like it. Of course, here's the samba dancing. That's always fun. Samba. Should we do victory? That was kind of cool. I kind of like Samba. I think it's got a lot of personality. Okay, so let's say that we want to keep Samba. We want to go ahead and we can actually download this information and this animation. So let's go ahead and download. Now it's going to ask you what would you like. Uh, FBX is fine. You can do with skin if you want. Uh, here it says 30, se 30 frames per second. You can always change it to 24 if you want to. Uh, keyframe to reduction. Mine has 820. Well, that seems a little much, but uh, I guess we'll keep it like that, and let's go ahead and download. So this might take a couple of minutes. Oops, I spoke too soon. Let me go ahead and save. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the FBX in my OBJ folder. doesn't make sense, but I'm going to just go ahead and put it there. And let's go import into a new scene. All right, so create a new scene, and you can see that there is our character, and she's doing her little mamba dance which is awesome it's pretty amazing let's go to show let's go to joints and you can see that we can quickly add her in there so that's pretty neat let's go ahead and press three on her so she looks a little smoother and that is how you can quickly bring in some animation now if you guys want to keep her let's say that you're interested in just kind of creating a pose let's say that this is a good pose for her and this is how you want to show her you just have to delete the history and then she will stay like this. Now I'm going to relabel this name. Uh, let's see. Maximo. And I am going to bring in a Calico 3D model. All right, so there she is. Going to press 6. So you can see that uh, I have like a, a version of her here. I'm going to move her back. So what that means is that I theoretically should be able to assign her shaders to her. Uh, okay. 
So what I did was separate her so that she's no longer combined. And now I can take her mesh and say existing material and hopefully things are... They're not, of course. I didn't label anything. So let's find out what this one is called. This is called... Uh, I'm going to call this her hair. Her main hair. So I can take her main hair, assign existing material, look for main. Though I swear I said main hair. And then we can also do ponytail. Oh, looks like that's actually the same. So they all share in that. So that's good. That's going to make my life easier. Let's go ahead and existing material, main hair. Let's see. This is her. Is everything main hair? Uh, looks like her skin is also the main hair. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. Existing material. So it's really not just the hair. It's actually a lot more than that. Um, let's see what this one is. This is her, must be her body. So this is her arms and body. So that will be easier to label. So body. Shader. Sign existing material. The shader. There we go. She's coming along. And then finally her creepy eyes. So let's see what, what we called it here. So we called hers. So we'll call this eyes. All right, there she is. So now you got a very stiff twin and then her uh, counterpart. So let's go ahead and hide the original. And now we have Calico dancing around. So very quickly we created um, an animation with lots of personality. Um, we probably want to go in and maybe clean it up, but this is a really good base. This is like a prototype. You can take this and bring it into an engine and uh, you can go from there. So hopefully that was helpful. I hope you liked it. It's, it's really fun. Um, especially once it starts loading, but she's really has uh, now that her textures are on there and everything um, She's got a lot of personality, so it's a lot of fun. Let me get rid of the background Let's see get rid of lights because that is a light and Maybe get rid of the grid and maybe actually get her to stand on something because It's a little odd Wow, what happened to my Lamberts? That's weird. Let me assign a new material, Lambert. All right, let's turn on occlusion. And maybe bring this up a tiny little bit. There she goes. It's kind of fun. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions by leaving a comment below. You can also uh, contact me via Facebook, which I have a community for. I also have um, a website, so take a look at academicphoenixplus.com where you can download files. You can also download eBooks and all of it for free. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, comment and let me know what you think. So thank you, everybody. Keep creating, and I look forward to your future animations, and I will see you next time.